Hey everybody, so Ancestry.com recently uh, kind of released or opened up their new Ancestry DNA matches that are far more accurate and provide you far greater confidence that your matches uh, are actually relatives of yours. One of the negatives or downsides of this update being pushed out is that all your previous matches, granted they might or might not be as accurate as the new matches are going to go away and be replaced with these updated more accurate matches. So for some people out there, that's great. We can go straight into our new accurate matches and not a problem at all. I know for if you're more hardcore about your ancestry DNA matches, you might want to keep a spreadsheet of these previous results just to have on reference to go and look back to or maybe to keep track of research you've done to rule out any possible matches that may have been a false positive. So for a limited time, Ancestry DNA is letting you download those previous uh, matches into an Excel spreadsheet. So I thought I would show you guys how to do that. If you click on your DNA tab and go to your homepage, you'll see it's talking about their new improved matching and you'll see the same common things you always saw your ethnicity matches and your DNA matches and then down below is the DNA circles which is their new feature that they've added what you're going to want to look for is the little settings icon and once you click on that you'll see on the right hand side down where you could uh, used to and still can download your raw DNA data you'll see that you can download your version one DNA matches. Keep in mind this is only available for a limited time, so if this is something that really interests you to download these matches, go ahead and do that as soon as possible. So what you do is once you click download your matches, and then it'll tell you a little bit about what the new matches are going to be like. And it takes, depending on how many matches you have, a few seconds, uh, up to a couple minutes for your data to process. And so once your data finishes processing, it downloads into an Excel spreadsheet that's got the name, columns, whether you've reached out and made contact to that person, if you've opened up that record or that person match and looked into it, and a few other columns with tracking the information. I had never, you know, clicked next through all my matches, so seeing them all listed on a spreadsheet, it was kind of shocking to see that we had around, or I had around 11,000 Ancestry matches. So hopefully with that new update, those matches will decrease and the amount of accuracy and the decrease in false positives will also improve. So... Just thought that would help you guys out that are a little more hardcore with the DNA service that you can still download your version 1 DNA matches. But keep in mind, it's only for a limited time. So if you're going to do it, uh, get on that right away. So hopefully these new updates will help you find some new links or solve some holes that you might have in your tree. And if you still need the information, hopefully you're still able to download your version one matches. So hopefully that helps.